Alrighty, today I want to talk about using the beaver and places where it's uh, difficult and it keeps getting stuck. Here's some tips I want to say. Number one is, um, so just to let you know, like this ground is backfill. We had a lot of rain. So the structure of the ground is pliable, but it's um, very loose and there's like little cavities. It's like you go down, there's like a cavity. And with a beaver, if you're going down and it catches in that cavity or it catches in a small root in that cavity, it just like screws right in real deep and then it's stuck because you can't pull it out. And it's a difficulty because there's no reverse on, on the little beaver machine. So um, one of the first things that I'll say that you'll learn when you're operating the beaver is your priority when you're digging is almost is, is more actually more holding the machine up at a at a control controlled you know your hands here on the lever but i've got it all braced with my legs and at a controlled maneuver going down and maybe i'm going an inch at a time lifting up another inch at a time i'm oversimplifying a little bit but not really my priority number one in ground where it's um possible sticky like this is just to go is to hold the machine up it's push down a little bit and hold up push down a little hold up push down a little hold up and i'm just controlling this because like i said it's the ground that just wants to go taken off and um if you get the auger stuck it's, it's maybe a half hour i mean it, it could take a long time getting it out so that's priority number one is is holding it up priority number two is come up often bring them bring it up to the top often so that it's bringing all the extra dirt out of the hole as much as possible. Um, tip number three would be, you know, which is just common with any tip, any any hole you're digging, but it's going around and making the hole bigger, bigger diameter so that the auger itself has more room um, down there so it's, one, can push the soil up around a lot more easier, but two, it doesn't get stuck as much with a bigger hole. All right, tip three, my guys got this stuck a couple times yesterday and just, you know, just simple mechanics. This is a tapered bit. It's not tapered huge, but it's tapered a little. That's gonna um, precipitate a little bit more towards getting stuck, whereas if the bit was straight edges. And then tip number five, I think we're at, is use a smaller auger. It's easier to control. You know, if this one's, we're doing aluminum, it's a two and a half inch post, so we want a big hole there. We want a little bigger than this six inch. But hey, if you're getting stuck and it's taking time, use a smaller auger. Let me see if I can negotiate this over there and show you just as a sample of me digging with the bigger auger. I gotta squeeze right behind this uh, bush here, but give me a sec. seconds into the, the from the end there like it really I mean I had to like really pull that thing up otherwise it was gonna be stuck um, so I just want to say like um, step number seven would be tip number seven is when you're in susceptible ground and you're already 
lost your breath for how much you know effort you've been putting in and, and it's like it's a lot for you to hold that thing up yo when you're almost to the depth stop because the worst time to get the auger stuck is when you're plumb at the end and that thing's like two and a half foot in the hole that's going to take the longest to get out so you know my tip tip number seven is when you're close pull the auger out and just it's easy grit digging you know it's just dig dig the next couple inches by hand in the long run well worth it than getting an auger stuck at full depth all right hope you learned something enjoy